Welcome back to Huffler Garage. So today this is another video in our Huffler Marine series. We're going to be working on my six horsepower Henkai two stroke. So we got a comment in one of our older videos uh, because we had talked about the engine not being able to plane the boat. It just didn't seem like it had enough power. So one of the comments that we got was to change our prop and on this white prop that came with the engine, it is a 7.8 by 8. And the prop that we were suggested to use is a 7.8 by 7, which should allow for a little more thrust to get us up on that plane. It won't change the speed of the boat per se, but it should get us to that plane so we can go faster to do that 13 miles per hour instead of at a not plane doing 8 miles an hour. So today, this is just going to be us testing this out. We're going to change this out and show you a little bit of how to do it. Then we're going to head, up, head out on the lake. We're actually going to throw my engine onto the white dinghy and test it out on that one because mine's still packed up. I haven't done anything with it since the ICW, and we've been really busy here lately. Hope you enjoy. So our first step to pulling this propped off, this thing does have a castle nut on it with a hairpin. So we're gonna use some needle nose pliers to bend that back and pull it out. And then we're gonna find which socket it is to pull that castle nut off. So we're gonna start by pulling this hairpin out. Pin that down. Perfect. Isn't that interesting? There's our hairpin. We just gotta figure out which socket it is. Try 15. Try 17 is too loose. Yeah, that might have to do. There's no way it's standard. Yeah, 17 it is. Well, 17 feels a little loose on there. Make sure this isn't a left hand thread. Tiny. All right. Didn't have too much pressure on the nut. There's our castle nut. I don't believe there should be anything behind this prop, but I'm gonna be careful as I pull it off. There's our washer. And there's our prop. As you can see, they do have quite a bit of rust in here, which it has been in salt water. I might wipe that down a little bit. And that is how you remove the prop. If you want a full tutorial on how to remove the foot, when I originally bought this engine, the Skaga came in broken and I had a new one sent in to replace it. Um, but you can see that all in a past video that we have put up. So we went in and cleaned this up. Uh, we did use this uh, marine lubricant that looks like it's from the 80s that we found in the house. So now it's time to reinstall our new prop and it just splines right on. Throw your washer on. And you're gonna put your castle nut on. When you put this on, I kind of judged how much pressure I used to pull it off. It does not take much pressure. This castle nut has that hairpin to make sure it doesn't back off. So I'm first just gonna hand tighten it. And actually I kind of like how the prop looks black on black. Mm 
Okay. Now as you do this, that hole that goes through the shaft for the hairpin, you gotta make sure you line it up with the castle nut. Now, I've tightened it down just a hair too much. That feels about right to what the last, the other one was. So now we can push our hairpin through here. And then just make sure you pull that one tab of the hairpin back up. That way it does not come apart. Alrighty. Push that back down. And there it is installed. So we're gonna throw this on the dinghy and give her a test. So the top speed we about got to was 12 miles per hour. We didn't quite hit that 13 mile an hour mark with the new prop. Overall, there really doesn't seem to be too much of a difference other than it does plane just a little bit quicker. And it does seem to stay on plane when you make those turns. With the other prop, it doesn't stay on plane as nicely with the turns. And it's somewhat hard to judge. And once I'm able to get my dinghy out, I can put the old prop on one. I think the overall review on this prop is gonna be that it's slightly better for the plane on the turns, uh, top speeds didn't seem to be phased. Hitting that 12 mile an hour, not quite 13 mile an hour top speed that we've gotten with the other prop. Uh, we're gonna run it and do some more tests. And once the red dinghy's pumped back up and we can get it out here, we'll run them side by side and see which one's faster and how they hold up against each other. Thank you for joining us today. Um, we're gonna do some more testing with this propped. Um, we do have a hydrofoil we're wanting to put on the other engine as well. We did buy one, it didn't fit, so we'll show you that as well in our review once we get that put on and then we can test these out together to really see if the prop worked better, if the hydrofoil worked better, and hopefully that all entitles us to be able to go faster, plane faster, and for this engine to work much better. And it's been a great engine so far, but we're gonna see if we can make it better. Have a wonderful 4th of July, and be safe out there. Keep it between the navigational beakers. Chester cheetah chewed a chunk of cheap cheddar cheese. One bug bled blue blood, while the other bug bled black. Does that sound decent? <laughs>